I just want to show you a real quick demonstration of how I prepare my seed starting mix. I use a Jiffy brand of the seed starting mix. This is available at most big box stores. Over here you can see I have a container. All I simply do is add the amount of seed starting mix that I wish to use into the container and I use boiling hot water. Just enough for the desired moisture and you can let the boil water steep and steam which will really help with germination and prevent fungus. When you pick it up by hand kind of run through it with your fingers and that way you can pick out any large pieces from time to time you may find pieces like this you don't want to have something like this in your seed starting tray. We'll add boiling hot water we'll mix it in nice and thoroughly and then we'll just put the lid on the container and let it steep for an hour or so. And here we go with the hot water. And now we wait. And now a quick look at the seeds. We got beet avalanche, a White Beet, Escamillo F1, Hybrid Sweet Pepper, we have Sandy Lettuce, it's an Oak Leaf, we got some Pak Choy, we're also growing some Rapunzel Tomato, some Jimmy Nardello Sweet Pepper, Butter Crunch Lettuce, Poblano Sweet Peppers, and I'm also growing a few six packs of Lemon Queen Sunflower. Just a quick note about water. It's very important you either use distilled water, spring water, or I'm using well water, uh, just non-chlorinated tap water. If you're using tap water, you want to make sure that you put it out 24 hours so the chlorine can dissipate. Uh, know what's in your tap water. If you have chloramine, then you may need to get a chemical to offset that, but water is very important. I like to use a, a turkey baster just to help um, moisten the mix if I need to. Initially I will put a few drops in the seed starting trays just to make sure there's adequate moisture and that's the only top watering that I do. Everything else will be watered from the bottom of the seed starting trays. Basically you just fill up the reservoir about maybe an inch and a half or so uh, or an inch of water. You let it sit for 45 minutes and then you drain the excess away. And another useful trick is ground cinnamon. You can take ground cinnamon and sprinkle across the top. The cinnamon will prevent the green mold growth. It won't kill fungus, but it will prevent it from happening. So we'll just go ahead and sprinkle across. You don't really have to layer on the cinnamon too thick. Just a light dusting is all you need. And that's it, you guys. I just thought I'd show you real quick seed starting tutorial. Again, there's more than one way to start the seeds. This is just the way uh, I'm doing these particular seeds that I'm starting. If you're in an area where you can grow right now, go ahead and start growing some food. Thanks for watching.